The man who is always waving the flag usually waves what it stands for. Quote from Lawrence J. Peter. Hi y'all, it's Kimberly here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Well today I'm going to talk about the capital rider that was sentenced to prison. Uh, the first capital rider sentenced to prison for felony charge, Paul Hodgkins, was sentenced to eight months in prison and he also got a uh, two-year supervised release, which that'll be after he serves his prison time. And his case is the first felony case of about four or around 580 something 82 or 83 people that have been arrested for participating and uh, being charged in the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. Uh, and so begins the ruination of his freedom, uh, which he willingly participated in. But, well, it's unlike, it, uh, it's likely that he will get out of prison early. That is one thing that, uh, with a lot of considering factors, uh, when you're given a prison term, usually you can uh, shave time off that sentence if you have good behavior or uh, overcrowding or, you know, there's a lot of reasons why you can get out of prison early, actually. And as long as you don't commit another crime while you're in there or some extenuating circumstances that pop up to, to not allow you to get out early. Well, in court, he expressed, you know, regret for his actions and said he just got swept up in the, the passion of the day. And with the, the mob mentality that was going on, he just uh, participated in it, you know, uh, with not even a thought that uh, what he was doing, you know, he really believed he was doing something patriotic, which he didn't believe he was committing a crime, which he was committing a crime. And... Uh, the judge referenced that, you know, in sentencing him, that uh, because he was paying uh, so much loyalty to a person, which would be Trump, instead of, you know, having the consideration of what he was doing to the capital, you know, he's paying so much loyalty to an individual over his nation. And that uh, influenced the judge a lot, the, the intent, you know, of what they were doing is, you know, the biggest thing that they're going to be, that comes into play, you know, intent in the law. And uh, so a lot of these people are saying that they did it for Trump, which is picking an individual over your nation and committing a crime with this uh, mob mentality. Uh, saying for them to say that they were being patriotic or they think that you know they were doing something right uh, that's the thing that the judge was making a reference to was all these people were doing it because they were upset with who is uh, now being called the president over one individual that they were supporting instead of you know recognizing the democratic process that we have and that was seen that was seen as a, a threat to democracy, you know, in totality. So uh, the judge was really um, harsh about making that clear. So that that's going to affect, I think, a lot of defenses. That uh, after hearing this, I think a lot of uh, defense attorneys are going to be, you know, wary of that saying something like that because saying that you did it for Trump. With that statement that this judge made, that's very important. And um, this guy, he only spent 30 minutes inside. He was on the Senate floor. He was carrying a flag that said Trump 2020. So he branded himself with Trump's name, an individual, over, you know, instead of an American flag. So that, that, that visual plus the uh, constant... Uh, people constantly saying, I did it for my president, for Trump, you know, he called on us. So that really is damaging to their defense now that this judge said that. And this guy had no priors. He wasn't a criminal. He was a Florida crane operator. He had a job. He was, 
uh, I believe he was being apprenticed in the job and he was trying to, uh, when you're an apprentice, you usually have to go through training and go through uh, maybe testing or accreditation or something like that. And he was very upset about that. He did not want to be, he begged for no jail time. He said it would mess up his job. Well, you know, like I say, the ruination of his life started when he walked in there willingly and did what he did. And uh, not with just the, the job situation, everything else I've talked about in other videos, um, family members, friends, what people think of you, all kinds of things that have, you know, in consideration for that. And uh, that seemed to be one of the biggest things that he was upset about. But he did get uh, jail time. And a lot of the other people who may have some uh, prior jail history or prior uh, criminal history, that's going to uh, weigh more heavily on them. They're going to be uh, probably be getting a harsher sentence than uh, Hodgkins did. And so far, there's been about 20 uh, guilty pleas. And uh, there's two other people that have been uh, sentenced already, and they were for misdemeanors. But this guy, Hodgkins, he's got a felony charge. But uh, Anna Morgan Lloyd, which I think I did a video on her, she got three years probation with no jail time. And Michael Curzio, uh, he got six months. He was sentenced to six months, but he was given uh, time served, which means he won't go to jail for six months because he, he spent already about six months, I think, or more waiting for his uh, trial so uh, he's already served his time so he won't go he won't get any more jail time and uh, another writer named Josiah Josiah Colt he pled guilty to the same charges of uh, obstruction like Hodgkins did but the difference with him is he carried a weapon and he had ammo and that's intent. When you carry something like that, that's a, you know, deadly weapon, you use that, you know, in uh, an extreme moment or extreme case to uh, save yourself, usually. But that would be self-defense. But this was not self-defense. This is where he went into, you know, stormed into the capital with a... A mob and brought weapons and uh, that's not going to be seen as self-defense so when he brought the weapons the charge with the weapons is even worse because he broke into somewhere not not like a defense that he could use self-defense so he can't use that and so with this uh, charge that Hodgkins got with his uh, sentence of eight months this guy's going to get a lot more time, and so are some of these other defendants. Uh, this is a benchmark, kind of, uh, probably a, a initial benchmark for the felony convictions that are going to come, come down. So a lot of these people are going to go to jail, some of them for a very long time, probably. And, uh, like this guy, uh, Josiah, Josiah Cope, he... His lawyer was, or there's a recommended sentence of 51 to 63 months, and that's with pleading guilty, uh, acknowledging remorse and accepting responsibility, and cooperating with prosecutors. So if there are people that aren't willing to do this, if they're not going to do all these things, act, uh, have some kind of shame or remorse, you know, be contrite in court or plead guilty, some of them are saying they're innocent because they did it for Trump, which is not a good defense. And uh, if they're not going to cooperate with prosecutors, then they're going to get the harshest time of all. So uh, this was not a very well thought out plan by a lot of people. It was incredibly stupid. And after they've had time, uh, so many of them have already come out and said, you know, it's the worst thing I ever did. It destroyed my life, you know, and I regret doing it, and uh, there are some that are holding out on that that are still, uh, you know, very, still being very patriotic, and they think in their mind, saying that Trump is, you know, still their president, and uh, 
they're going to be, I think, some of those people are going to be um, whittled down and they're going to probably uh, show a different uh, attitude when they get in court because they, they realize that, and that especially some of the ones that have no prior history, they've never really committed a crime or never been involved in anything like that. And uh, they, you know, they're going to have to change their attitude or they're going to get some hard time. And uh, these sentences are going to be, uh, like I say, based kind of on this as a benchmark. And this guy was pretty clean, you know, he just did something really incredibly stupid. He has a clean history, he was remorseful. Uh, you know, that's the best that they can do is try to show remorse, acknowledge the crime, acknowledge that there is a new president. And cooperate and that's probably the best way that they're going to get a lighter sentence because as I said uh, sticking to that Trump is your president and that you uh, are supporting supporting uh, Trump still that you you're not acknowledging Joe Biden you know that that's going to be very damaging to your case okay uh, that's it for so far and I'm gonna keep up with this and I'll be back with some more uh, sentencing reports I'll make some more videos and I'll see y'all later thank you have a good day